we have talked about finding the perimeter of a shape. The perimeter is when we measure the distance around. Remember, the key word is rim. It goes around the outside. It's the perimeter. Today, we're going to learn how to choose a tool and a unit to measure the perimeter of a shape that you draw. Let's say I want to measure the length of the top of my desk. Now, I need to think, what should I measure with? I could pick a ruler, but then I need to ask myself, do I want to do feet or do I want to do inches? which would be easier. And on a ruler, I know that inches are a little bit smaller than feet, and I know that this would probably be a little bit more than a foot, and it would probably be easier to measure with inches. So I would pick inches. I would not pick miles to measure the top of my desk, because my desk is not that big, and I would not pick yards to measure the top of my desk, because my desk is not that big. And I think if I use centimeters, it would work, but there would be a lot of little centimeters. I feel like inches are more in the middle. They seem to work a little bit better. Let's say I want to measure the perimeter of this picture frame. I have a few choices here. I would not pick miles. I think miles are too big. And I would not pick yards, because I think yards are too big. I could get a ruler... But I think feet are also too big, too, so I would pick inches. And then I would measure each side of this picture frame. Let's say this side was 7 inches, and this side was 11 inches. I could find the perimeter, then. Since it's a rectangle, I know that this side is going to equal this side, so that's 11 inches. And then I also know that this side is going to equal this side, so that's 7 inches. And then I would just add up all four sides. 11 and 11 is 22. 7 and 7 is 14. If I added that together, my answer would be 36 inches. The perimeter would equal 36 inches. If I used feet, I'd have to talk about fractions and use halves. So I know that inches were the right choice. Let's say I want to measure the perimeter around this giant racetrack. Now, I could pick miles, but I think miles are too big. I think I'm going to save miles. I think what I would pick would be yards. We know a yard equals three feet. I also know a football field is a hundred yards. So I think a yard is a good choice. If I picked inches, there would be a bunch of little tiny inches and I would be down on the ground. I just don't think inches would work. Yards would be my best choice to measure the perimeter of this racetrack. Let's say I want to put carpet down in my house, but I need to know the perimeter of my house or my room in order to figure this out. So what I'm going to do is I need to figure out what I'm going to measure with. If I measure with miles, that's way too big. If I measure with inches, it's too small. And I feel like yards are a little too big also. Usually when you're measuring the inside of the house or you're measuring a fence, you're going to use feet. So we would measure the perimeter of this room using feet. Here's a playground. I want to measure the perimeter of the playground. What would I use? I could use miles, but no. I'd be using a fraction. I could use feet, but that would be too small. And I think inches and centimeters are way too small. So I think my best choice is yards. Because it's bigger than a room, so it's going to have more feet, so let's just turn them into yards. And I would measure with a yardstick around the perimeter of the playground to find the perimeter of the playground. That means the distance around. Let's look at my notebook. I want to know the perimeter of my notebook. What am I going to choose? 
Well, I look at my ruler, and I'm thinking my ruler looks like a good choice. A yardstick would be way too big. I could use feet, but I think that that's too big of a unit. So I'm going to cross it out, because I don't want to use fractions. I want to get as close as I can. I could choose inches. And I think that's a really good choice because inches are small and I can figure out a little bit closer. I could also choose to use centimeters because centimeters are small and they would help me figure out the perimeter. Sometimes you can pick on your own. I think inches are a good choice, but centimeters would also work to find the perimeter of my notebook. Here I have a flower pot. And if I wanted to measure this flower pot, I could take my ruler, and if I wanted to get the perimeter, it wouldn't work, because my ruler is flat, like a stick. And I can't wrap it around my flower pot. Does that mean I can't find the perimeter at all? That can't be the answer. There is a solution to finding out the perimeter when it's not flat, like your ruler. Get yourself some string. What you can do is you can wrap the string around the perimeter and then measure how long your string is against the ruler. That will tell you the perimeter of the flower pot. Remember, when you're measuring perimeter, make sure you choose the right unit. Make sure your unit's not too big and your unit's not too small. It's kind of like the Goldilocks of measuring. You don't want it too big, you don't want it too small, you want it just right.